GeForce was a Mara X-Car coaster located at Drayton Manor Park and was opened as the UK's only X-Car coaster. GeForce allowed riders to experience inversions without the need for overhead restraints. The ride also featured a Humpty Bump lift. GeForce opened on the 26th of July 2005 and would close forever in 2018. So what went wrong and why just 13 years later would Drayton Manor close the only X-Car coaster in the UK? A Drayton Manor. Between 1993 and 2002, Drayton Manor had been installing many permanent rides and removing some of the Fun First style rides. New rides between this time included Maelstrom, Apocalypse, Shockwave, Splash Canyon, and Stormforce 10. In 2005, the park was ready for its new thrill coaster. At Iapa in 2003, Mara Rides unveiled a new roller coaster train concept named the X Car Coaster. This new concept was not about the track of the ride, however about the trains and restraints. Instead of having an overhead restraint, the X-Car Coaster had a lap bar restraint, however was still able to do inversions. The new restraint system could withstand forces of over minus 1G for sustained periods of time. The trains of the ride could be used as a single car or as a combined train. On request, the X-Car can also be four seats and two rows. It is also possible to couple two or three X cars to form a 12 seater tandem or an 18 seater train. The X car can be transformed from a six pack to a four seater or a back to back, but it's comfortable and safe every time, thanks to the ergonomically brilliant seat shape and steplessly adjustable safety lap bar. Freedom on tracks. For the passenger, that means total freedom of movement for the head and upper body. The first ever park to open the X-Car coaster was Skyline Park, located in Germany. The coaster was named Sky Wheel. Sky Wheel had the same Humpty Bump element that G-Force would later have. If wanted to, parks could add more track to the X-Car coaster, and this is exactly what Skyline Park had planned to do in 2007, but unfortunately that never happened. This is where the story of G-Force begins. Originally named Project X, GeForce opened to the public on the 26th of July 2005. The ride had three standout elements including the Humpty Bump lift, a loop and a bent Cuban 8. The ride could reach speeds of up to 43.5 miles per hour and heights of up to 82 feet on a track of 1,263 feet. The ride fitted a lot into its layout considering how compact the coaster was and how little the land it was built on. The rides around G-Force were a seaside theme so it was quite strange seeing a bright red track with silver supports rather than a sea theme that all of the rides around it were. As you came inside, projections would play videos alongside a dedicated techno soundtrack to the ride and lighting would be around the queue line. Once you board the train and pull down your restraint, you head straight into a left curve, which then goes into the Humpty Bump lift hill. This, in my opinion, being the best part of the ride. The ride capacity was 550 per hour. However, due to the ride being pretty popular, the park added a second train, as when the ride opened, the coaster only had one train running. If the lift hill ever lost power, then there is a backup chain, which I think is powered by diesel. After the vertical loop, you go straight into an airtime hill, then into a bent Cuban A. The rest of the track consisted of twists and turns before heading into the magnetic brake run. From off right, the coaster looked pretty good and this is probably due to the coaster being compact and the Humpty Bump lift hill as it was not seen in other UK parks. The theming was very, very plain. While GeForce opened to mixed reviews, it was still a permanent installation for Drayton Manor. This is Drayton Manor. Fun, fun, fun. While the restraints were not restricting the upper body, the lower body was very restrictive. 
A high complaint about the ride was the restraints would not lock into place, meaning that while they could not get looser, they could get tighter and tighter throughout the course of the track. Some riders even saying they struggled to breathe on the final brake ramp. In September 2010, Mara issued a warning to all X-Car coasters about the train's couplers. The company said that they may not be durable for the future. A coupler is what attaches the two trains to each other. This problem caused many X-Car coasters to close while Mara resolved the problem. Once Mara resolved the problem, all of the coasters reopened. However, what happened next is what no one could have predicted and affected Drayton Manor's reputation. The air ambulance arriving after being called to one of the country's biggest theme parks. It landed in the ground of Drayton Manor in Staffordshire, following an incident at around 2.20 this afternoon. 2017 was a rough year for Drayton, with a terrible accident on Splash Canyon and G-Force being stuck on the Humpty Bump lift hill, which was wildly reported in the media. From this point, attendance of the park wildly dropped. 2018 came along with another tough season for the park. On the 12th of October 2018, it was announced that the coaster would be retired at a press conference. They stated that the ride had become too expensive to maintain and was constantly breaking down. The ride was SBNO for the 2019 season, with the only work on its removal being banners put up saying, planning for future fun. At the end of 2019, a JCB could be spotted by the ride, and eventually, during the magical Christmas event, the supports of the ride had been numbered and work was underway to remove the ride. At the end of January, the ride was completely removed. What stands in that area today is a play area and a way swinger ride. Drayton Manor took a huge risk in installing a new type of coaster. It opened to mixed reviews, but after just 13 years of operation, it permanently closed. Only 25 meters in height were allowed in Drayton Manor, enough to make the 385 meters of coaster track into a thrilling roller coaster event while the track itself is easily extendable. Drayton Manor is now branded as a family theme park rather than a thrill seekers park. In 2020, the park went into administration and has now been brought by the Looping Group. With a lot of investment in 2021 aimed at families, the park is looking to be on the rise and I look forward to seeing what the park has to offer in the very near future. Did you enjoy GeForce? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the theme park content I post every week. And before that's said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiast, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.